Greetings, one and all. I am the Decider, which is quite an ironic name for me personally, because you see, before we continue on with today's Cider Drinker review, the Cider Drinker himself can't decide which one of these two ciders standing in front of me he wants to do next. And so he's left it up to you, ladies, gentlemen, and cider drinkers of all ages, to decide which of these two ciders he will be reviewing next. To my left, we have Old Jollop's High Noon. And to my right here, we have Old Jollop's with a twist. Their elderflower cider, no less. So, please comment down on the video below and let the cider drinker know which one of these two ciders he needs to review next. That's all from the decider for now. So, on with today's review. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Well, what do you think of the new intro? Good? Bad? Terrible? Shouldn't have even bothered? Let me know. Um, yeah, if you like the old one, I'll go back to that, but hopefully you like the, uh, the new intro. Anyway, that's not what you came here for. You came here for a cider review, didn't you? So, with that said, today's cider is from Ireland. It's not uh, an Orchard Box cider or anything like that. I actually bought it from my local um, B&M store for £1.25. However, when I uh, was away in Dublin for a long weekend with my fiance, I saw this cider in quite a few pubs and bars, but I also saw it in um, bottle shops as well. I'm talking about Tempted Cider Company, and it is their Dry Cider. Um, as you can see, this one comes in 500ml bottles, as you can see, any other ways will be in the description below, and I believe it's 5.7% ABV? It certainly is, 5.7% ABV. Uh, so, it says uh, Cider um, Island's Most Awarded Ciders. Ah, okay. Established in 2009, so fairly new, you know, still a fairly new company in the grand scheme of things anyway. Made with 100% natural apple juice. Always good to see. Um, made by the Up Richard family uh, in County Ar Armagh, I'm guessing so, County Armagh. So let's see what it says on the back here. It takes the finest Irish apples to make the finest Irish cider. So that's where we start. We then add a generation of Up Richard family passion and craft. The result? Pure, irresistible temptation. Davy couldn't find the crisp, tangy, refreshing cider he wanted, so he set about making it himself. And here it is, Tempted Dry, the one that started it all. Uh, no artificial colours, contain sulphites. Pretty standard stuff. So, yeah, I'm getting, obviously, as the label suggests, this was uh, the first cider that Tempted Cider Company made. I've also got their Medium Dry in the uh, drinks cabinet ready to review, so... That'll be on another review though. Let's get the uh, let's get the top off this and just see see what's inside. I mean, you know, one pound twenty-five. That's a pretty good bargain. Let's go in for a smell. Well, it definitely smells quite dry. Quite tannic on the nose. Getting sort of a uh, nice earthy, woody um, notes as well. Hmm. Yeah, smells just really. Nice, nice smelling uh, dry cider. Let's get this all poured out then. Hmm. Now, as I said, uh, I saw this quite a lot when I was over in Dublin, so... Strangely enough, didn't really see, uh... Didn't see many Magnus over there. Or Bulmers or anything like that. Um, actually, it was... it was. Oh, anyway, that's a different debate altogether. Um, have a look at the old colour there. Nice, light carbonation, as you can see. Really, really light in colour. Lovely, uh, light, golden -y hue there. Really, really nice stuff. See if I uh, get any more smells on the glass. 
Hmm, it's smelling, um, smelling a bit sweeter now. Smelling like, um, pretty much a, a, a standard, standard Irish, well, Irish cider. Smells a, smells fresh. Yeah, smells fresh, smells dry. Overall, smells uh, like it's going to be quite a nice drinking cider. So, well, let's waste no more time. Let's find out what it tastes like. Cheers, guys. Here's to tempted ciders. Well, dry cider. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, that is not a bad drop at all. Let's get a second opinion. Hmm. Oh, wow. That is a real palate cleanser. My mouth is instantly dried up. That's amazing. Any, uh... Any drinks or any flavours that you probably had in your mouth would have been completely wiped away with this cider. It's... It does that job, you know, it does the dry job well. Instantly cl cleanses your palate of everything. Um, but it does leave a really nice, fresh, juicy... Juicy apple um, aftertaste, especially at the back of the throat. It's... Um, oh yeah, my tongue is really tongue is really dry. Uh, having said that though, when I had those f first couple of sips, it was quite sweet initially, uh, which wasn't expecting, especially from a, a dry cider. Sometimes you get that from a medium dry, but generally not from dry ciders. Hmm. There's nice, subtle, earthy earthy woody tastes to it as well a touch of uh, acidity uh, which adds to the dryness as well just culminates into a really nice but still you know really quite dry but still really easy drinking cider and as i said perfect palate cleanser if you want to uh like say finish the night off with a good like clean slate or something this will be one that is yeah definitely for you so let's go in for a final taste before a final verdict Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice cider. Sorry, I was uh, trying to stop myself from coughing there, actually, because so, it kind of went down the wrong way. Uh, but yeah. If you see this, uh, I mean, it was really prevalent in Dublin. You, you saw it... Um, on, on the bars in pretty much, well, quite a few pubs and bars while I was over there, which would kind of make you think, mm, is it just going to be, you know, like a, a mainstream cider or something like that? Trust me, it's not. It's a really lovely tasting dry cider, and it's one that I recommend you go out and try. I mean, as I said, I got this particular bottle for £1.25 from my local B&M store, so you can definitely get them around here for quite cheap. For our final verdict, Tempted Dry Cider is going to get an 8 out of 10. I, uh, I am looking forward to seeing what the Medium Dry has to offer. Uh, I know ages and ages ago, I think it was at Chelmsford Beer Festival, I tried their uh, special reserve too, and that was top-notch stuff as well. So yeah, keep a lookout for Tempted Cider, uh, because they obviously know what they're doing. With that said, that's another episode of the Cider Drink of Year, guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Till then, as usual, I'm going to go and uh, finish off this tempted dry cider right off. Take care, guys. Until next time.